In the springtime, when the big rivers start rising, the big fish start moving. And that's when Montana fisheries biologists take to the river to tag and keep track of one of the most rare, healthy wild fish populations in the world. Every spring, uh, we come up here and, and tag these fish. As these fish are migrating upstream, they swim into the net. We then take a length from the eye to the tail and the fork and a weight, and then put a, put a new uh, jaw tag in them. And we've been doing it since 1974. Uh, we've learned a lot of information uh, from that. We've documented fish moving over 40 miles in, in, a, in a given day when flows are, are coming up or, or receding. Tag number 2519. We'll see fish as old as 58 years old. Males typically come up the river to spawn every one or two years, but for females it's a little bit longer. They, they come up every two or three years. Typically, um, we see males come up uh, somewhere between the ages of 10 and 12 years old. That's usually when they make their first run. And for females, it's a little bit later. They, they typically make their first run between the ages of 14 and 16 years old. So if we, if we saw a fish that was 20 years old and we tagged her, uh, we wouldn't expect to see that fish come back up the river until she was 22 or 23 years old. If you happen to catch a paddlefish with a jaw tag, providing that information to a biologist will be a big help in maintaining this wild, healthy paddlefish population. This is Mike Grunet out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.